Ekman layer. Okay, you have a bottom Ekman layer. Okay. When do you have a bottom Ekman layer? If you have friction induced by a horizontal current touching the seafloor. Okay, it's not the wind here, so you are in the ocean interior and you have a horizontal flow and there's friction with the seafloor and again, you get an Ekman layer. And the Ekman layer is a little bit different to the, to the surface Ekman layer. It actually moves water horizontally into the opposite direction. So if you have the transport in the southern hemisphere is to the left with respect uh, to the wind direction, it is actually to the right with respect to the flow direction, it's in, in, in opposite direction. And this is a bottom Ekman layer. The thickness is it varies. It's up to 25, 30 meters. That's the thickness of that. And we come back to that. The thicknesses really matter because in most coastal oceans, okay, and also because you have density stratification, the surface and bottom Ekman layers actually do not interfere they do not interact unless you are in very shallow water. And this will be discussed in, in the next lecture. But this is, however, how the structure looks from the, of, of, the, of the bottom Ekman layer here. In the bottom graph, okay, is, is assuming that you have a current above the Ekman layer, it's a geostrophic current, to the right. Okay? So if you are above, say, 20 meters above, the Ekman layer, you have a current that goes to the to the right here, to the east. And as you move now closer to the seafloor, okay, and this is for the northern hemisphere. Okay, northern hemisphere, this graph. And you can see that there's the deflection as you come closer to the seafloor, the currents disappear at the seafloor, but the direction of the flow is about 45. This is the bottom Ekman layer. Okay, so now there is a coupling between the surface Ekman layer. And the bottom Ekman layer is because you need to create the flow that creates the bottom Ekman layer. And this is done through changing the slope of the sea surface. So you actually create, have to create a geostrophic flow and then you create the bottom. Let's have a look at that. Okay? 